Alright, what's happening everybody? It's your boy Keen again for today's second blog. Continuing my top 5 prospects for each position for the 2012 NFL Draft. For today's second video, here to give you my top 5 cornerbacks. Starting at number 5, I'm going to go with Stephen Gilmore of South Carolina. This kid posted up 46 tackles and 4 interceptions this season. Now one thing he needs to work on is that sometimes he gets lazy with his footwork, particularly backpedaling and getting himself into a good position to defect passes against receivers. I think he needs to work on that with good solid coaching. I think he could be a decent player in the NFL. At number 4, I'm going to go with Josh Robinson of Central Florida. This kid posted up a 4 3 4 at the NFL Draft Combine, and he had a great workout. Plus, he had 15 pass breakups this past season, so he could definitely cause problems for receivers and quarterbacks and with his pass deflecting skills. Now, he needs to work on his ball skills just a little bit and catching the football. He only had two interceptions this season, but at least he could deflect some passes and cause problems for these receivers, and he's a great cover corner for UCF. At number three, I'm going to go with Janoris Jenkins of North Alabama. This kid started started his career at Florida, posting up 11 pass breakups as a freshman. This kid is a great cover corner. Now, the reason why he had to go to North Alabama is because of academic issues and some off-the-field cases that he had to deal with, so he can have some problems going towards the NFL, have some off-the-field problems, maybe. But I think with good discipline, if he kept his mind straight, get his mind back on track at North Alabama, which he did, he could be a, be a good, productive cornerback in the NFL, and if he just stays focused and disciplined. Plan. Now, one team in particular I think they can use him is the Patriots at, um, in the late round, in the first round of this year's draft. At number two, Dre Kirkpatrick of Alabama. This kid's an excellent cover corner with nine pass breakups and a couple of interceptions this season. Now, this kid's a little bit undersized at um, 186 pounds. He's not that much bigger than me. I'm at 180, and I'm pretty small in my opinion. But in the NFL, he needs to be a good a good cover corner and not only just be a good cover corner, but help support the run. Now, this season in college football, this past season, he only posted 30 tackles. So I don't think he's going to be too much of a threat in, in stopping the run and supporting that run. But he's going to be an excellent cover corner in my opinion. I have him going in the mid first round, first round of this year's draft. And at number one, this is an obvious choice. Everybody has him at number one at cornerback. Morris Claiborne of LSU. Now this kid was overshadowed by the Honey Badger, the kid opposite on the on the other side of the field at corner, Tyron Matthew. But this kid, um, Morris Claiborne, did still pick up the Jim Thorpe Award given to the best defensive back in college football. Now a lot of people are comparing him to first rounder last season, Patrick Peterson, and some people actually think that Claiborne is better than Peterson as a cover corner. Now I highly doubt that. If it wasn't for Von Miller, Peterson would probably be. be the defensive rookie of the year this season. He had a great year as a special team player and a couple corners. So I really think I think the people are kind of overjudging Morris Claiborne. But Morris Claiborne is still an elite athlete. And one team in particular who needs him is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at number five. And I think they're going to select him at number five. Now I do have a couple of honorable mentions I need to talk about. Brandon Boykin and uh, of, of Georgia and Alfonso Denard of Nebraska. Both these guys are solid players. I think they can be a good, both of them are third, fourth round selections for this year's NFL draft. Great team, great players, and I think it would be, be a good asset to any team in the NFL. Now, my sleeper this year at corner is a good cover corner from the FCS division, Tremaine Johnson of Montana. Now, this kid has the measurables at 6'1", 204 pounds. So, this kid's a big guy, a nice size at, at the cover corner, nice, good, fit guy who runs a 4'5", 40, and he's a great all-around corner. He helps support the run, get a couple of interceptions, and get a couple pass breakups. Now, yes, he did play in a lower division at the FCS level, but this kid does have the measurables and the potential to be a star cornerback in the NFL. Yes, you heard correctly. I think this kid can make it, and I think he can be a good player, a good asset to any team on that defensive side of the ball. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow to wrap up my defensive side with my top five safeties. Thank you for watching this vlog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.